In this video, we're going to talk about how the ZL8800 handles overcurrent fault protections. Now, if you look at the video earlier regarding how Apple Current Telemetry sets up, you'll notice that we monitor with our ADC the entire continuous waveform of the Apple Current through the inductor. So what you've got is you have a choice of two different slopes, upslope sampling or downslope sampling. Now, the default is the downslope sampling because for most applications, if you're running from a 12 volt input, you're converting to low output voltages. So this is going to be the bulk of period of time. The way the device works is it continuously samples the inductor current at all points. If you're using downslope, it will only look in this period of time after a certain blanking period. And you get to select this time period to avoid any switch node transitions, which causes noise to come onto the signal. Right after the blanking time expires, the device will start sampling continuously. Now, the first few readings are probably what's going to be tripping your peak over current protection. This is a cycle by cycle protection. So every cycle is constantly monitoring it and comparing it to the peak threshold that's set up. All the other points, including those, are continuously sampled and averaged together. That way you also get an average over fault response. So for peak current, or for an overcurrent event, you get two settings, peak and average. And the same thing applies for undercurrent. There's also a peak undercurrent and an average undercurrent fault. Now the question occurs is, well, if the device detects a peak fault or an average, what occurs? Well, that really comes down to how the device is set up in terms of the fault response. This is another PM bus command in the device that allows you to configure exactly the occurrence and the next steps. There's a couple of different options. Either the device will shut down instantly and remain off, or you can have it to continuously retry. A third option is you can have it to retry a certain number of times with certain time intervals between the faults. And all of these changes are configurable through the GUI with the device using the PM bus interface.